So that's like, is that really where you're, you're now you see yourself going? Like, obviously you did have that that tenure with like the broadcast side of things, like commentating and let's face it, not blowing smoke up your ass, but you were freaking great at it, dude. Like you were so good. Yeah, I was really excited when you were on 205 Live. I was watching it like all the time then. Yeah. And I thought you did a great it job, was. especially for not having really done commentary stuff for a while. Like, oh, ever. I was, <laughs> I was thrown in, like, it was one of those things when I first, I've told the story before, but, um, when Tom Phillips asked me to do it, I was like, sure. And we I went to the performance center and we did like two hours in their little, the booth they have down there. And I was like, okay. I'm like, that was, it. that was fun. I don't think I did very well. Like it was okay. Like I had a good time with the guys and uh, I'm like, maybe we'll do it again in a year or like six months or something. And then the next week at TV, Michael Cole's like, all right, we'll put next starting next week. We're going to put you on 205 live. <laughs> have fun. You're like, exactly. okay <laughs> <laughs> and at, like at, and it was also funny because like the first show i showed up on was the one right before the royal rumble where mm-hmm. there was like a cruiserweight title match and everything and so originally they're like oh well you're probably not going to the uh, royal rumble you know you only had your first broadcast and then michael must have really liked me because he's like <laughs> well no he, he's on the show right well he's gonna be calling the rumble ma- the well, cruiserweight title match at the rumble too <laughs> like i'm by me but I no, like, I, why I, not be I on pay per view yeah. right when I'm just starting out this whole new thing? <laughs> absolutely, throw me in the lines, then I love it. So yeah, no, 100%. that's awesome. So is that something though? Like you, you, but you did say there, like obviously you want to get back. You're excited to get back into in ring stuff, but you, that, that's the thing is like you are now focusing like on going back to in ring work as opposed to that. Like so, say if I don't know, like let's say hypothetically a big company phoned you up and was like hey we want you to do commentary like you know and then you've got all these bookings for like in-ring stuff like where does your loyalty lie does it lie it's like right down the middle i mean so like if I, yeah if, if a t one of the tv kind of companies asked me to come into a broadcast role depending on what it was and everything like that i would i would 100 percent be open to that mm-hmm. uh because i i do in other i have to think also like long term i'm not an old man i know that but i can't do this forever and I want, you know, I want to widen my skill set and all that stuff more than just, right. I don't want to be, I, I don't want to be taking bookings at, you know, in my forties and stuff like yeah. that. I don't, for the people who do that. And if you still love it and then great, but I don't see myself wanting to do it. Like I want, I want, um, and it's not that I don't want to like wrestle, but it's, I don't know. The human body is only, I want to live to be a hundred. I like, I, I never understood the people who were <laughs> like, live fast, die. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, it's, I'm so back. Everybody, so, especially so many people in wrestling, it's kind of why we get into it, are like, they're that a little bit of that live fast die. Like, I don't care. I'm going to go crazy, take all the bumps, go out, party, a little bit like this. If I'm dead at 60, I don't care. Like, That's the problem. <laughs> I, I want to be 100 and being walked to the bathroom wearing <laughs> diapers. I don't care. I do. I want to live and see like everything. I and, like. You want to see what the future I, has to have in everything. store. Like I want to be the old lady from Titanic. Yes. <laughs> like, I do. We should get you a heart and, of the ocean. Like... <laughs> Me yes. and Sandra will be the couple in the bed. Like, right, it was great. Yeah, we'll be like, you know what? This was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Matt can tell our story once we're gone. Hold me tight, Sandra. 